The task is not to see what has never been seen before, but to think what has never been thought about what everyone sees. Erwin Schrodinger Erwin Schrodinger, born in 1887 and passed away in 1961, was an Austrian physicist and Nobel laureate renowned for his contributions to quantum mechanics, the branch of physics governing the behavior of particles at atomic and subatomic scales. His most famous work, The Schrodinger Equation, describes how quantum systems evolve over time, forming the backbone of quantum theory. However, he is best known to the public for a paradoxical thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat. In 1935, Schrodinger devised his iconic thought experiment to critique the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, which posits that particles exist in multiple states, or superpositions, until observed. Here's the setup. Hypothetically, a cat is placed in a sealed box with a radioactive atom, a Geiger counter, and a vial of poison. If the atom decays, which is a quantum event with 50% probability, the Geiger counter triggers the poison release, hypothetically killing the cat. Until the box is opened, the cat exists in a superposition, both hypothetically alive and hypothetically not alive simultaneously, mirroring the atom's undecayed or decayed state. Why does this matter? Schrodinger highlighted the absurdity of applying quantum rules to macroscopic objects like cats. The experiment challenges our intuition about reality, asking, when does a quantum system choose a definite state? This paradox spurred debates about consciousness, measurement, and alternative interpretations like the many worlds theory. Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon Einstein called spooky, occurs when particles become inseparably linked. Their properties, for example, spin or polarization, are correlated instantaneously, even across vast distances. An example, entangled photons created in a lab exhibit opposite polarizations. Measuring one photon's state instantly determines the others, regardless of separation. Applications of this include quantum cryptography, which is secure communication via entangled particles, where eavesdropping disrupts the system. Quantum computing, where entangled qubits enable exponentially faster calculations. And teleportation, which involves transferring quantum states between particles. Despite its strangeness, entanglement doesn't allow faster-than-light communication, preserving Einstein's relativity. Parallel Universes The concept of frequency appears in both physics and metaphysics, bridging science and daily life. Let's start with physical frequencies. The electromagnetic spectrum includes light, radio waves, and x-rays, which differ by frequency and wavelength. Energy increases with frequency, as described by the equation E equals HN equals HC over lambda, where H is Planck's constant. High-frequency waves like UV and gamma rays have high energy and can damage DNA. Conversely, low-frequency waves, such as radio waves, have low energy and are harmless. Now consider atomic interactions. Electrons orbit nuclei in discrete energy levels. Photons, or light particles, are absorbed or emitted when electrons jump between these levels, producing spectral fingerprints. High-frequency light, such as UV, can ionize atoms by ejecting electrons. Moving on to frequencies in daily life, some philosophies equate emotional states with vibrational frequencies. High frequency is associated with positivity, joy, and calm, aligning with universal energy. Low frequency, on the other hand, is linked to negativity, fear, and stress, which may attract adverse experiences via the law of attraction. For example, 
consuming nutrient-rich foods, which are considered high frequency, versus processed foods, which are low frequency, might influence both physical and emotional well-being. Let's explore how quantum concepts connect to everyday life. In technology, lasers rely on the stimulated emission of photons. MRI machines use nuclear spin, a quantum property, to create detailed images of the human body. Solar panels convert photon energy into electricity, harnessing the principles of quantum mechanics. When it comes to consciousness and perception, Schrodinger's cat metaphorically reflects life's uncertainties. Until we observe outcomes, multiple possibilities coexist. Emotional frequencies might shape our perception of reality, although this remains speculative. In terms of health and the environment, UV radiation, which is high frequency, can cause sunburns but also enables the synthesis of vitamin D. Radio waves, which are low frequency, enable global communication. While quantum physics deals with measurable phenomena, the idea of attracting experiences through emotional frequencies leans into metaphysics. Proponents argue that maintaining a positive mindset or high frequency fosters resilience and opportunities, whereas negativity or low frequency perpetuates hardship. Scientifically, stress, a low frequency, triggers cortisol release, impacting health, a tangible link between emotion and biology. Frequency refers to how often a wave, like light or sound, completes a cycle per second, measured in hertz. High frequency means more cycles per second, such as gamma rays and ultraviolet light, and is associated with higher energy. Low frequency means fewer cycles per second, like radio waves and infrared, and is associated with lower energy. Energy is the capacity to do work. In physics, energy and frequency are linked by the equation E equals H times F, where E is energy, H is Planck's constant, and F is frequency. Higher frequency equals higher energy. Atoms are the building blocks of matter, composed of a nucleus with protons and neutrons and orbiting electrons. Protons are positively charged particles in the nucleus that define the element, like carbon having six protons. Neutrons are neutral particles in the nucleus that stabilize the atom. Electrons are negatively charged particles in energy shells. Their movement between shells emits or absorbs photons, which are light particles. Photons are packets of electromagnetic energy, and their frequency determines their type, such as visible light or X-rays. Electrons occupy specific energy levels. When they jump to a higher level by absorbing energy or drop to a lower one by emitting a photon, the photon's frequency corresponds to the energy change. For example, blue light, which is high frequency, is emitted from larger electron jumps than red light, which is low frequency. In the human body, biochemical energy from food is converted to ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, fueling cellular processes. Electrons play a key role in the electron transport chain, generating ATP. Nerve impulses, which are electrical signals in neurons, rely on ion movements, a form of bioelectricity. In the environment, photosynthesis uses sunlight or photons to convert CO2 and water into glucose. Solar radiation with varying frequencies affects climate and ecosystems. In technology, microwaves, which are low frequency, heat food and x-rays, which are high frequency, image bones. In health, UV light, which is high frequency, triggers vitamin D synthesis but can damage DNA, while infrared, which is low frequency, is used in heat therapy. In spirituality, energy vibrations are often symbolized as high frequency for elevated states like joy and love and low frequency for denser emotions like fear and anger. Holistic practices like meditation and mindfulness aim to raise personal vibration, aligning with the idea of energy flow. Sound therapy uses vibrations, such as singing bowls, to promote relaxation, resonating with the body's natural frequencies. The concept that all matter and energy are interconnected mirrors spiritual ideas of oneness. Science focuses on measurable frequencies and physical interactions, such as electrons in cells and photons in sunlight. Spirituality uses frequency in describing consciousness and emotional states.
Both frameworks acknowledge vibration's role in shaping reality, albeit through different lenses. The air we breathe is a dynamic dance of atoms, energy, and quantum interactions. Here's how these elements connect, from the science of molecules to the principles of quantum physics, and why it matters in everyday life. Air is a mixture of gases, primarily nitrogen at 78%, which consists of two nitrogen atoms bonded, and oxygen at 21%, which consists of two oxygen atoms bonded, along with trace gases like carbon dioxide, argon, and water vapor. Atoms like nitrogen and oxygen are made of protons and neutrons packed in the nucleus, defining the element, such as seven protons for nitrogen, and electrons that orbit the nucleus, forming bonds between atoms. Energy in air exists as chemical energy in molecular bonds, like breaking O2 bonds releases energy during combustion, thermal energy from the motion of air molecules, and electromagnetic energy from sunlight interacting with air. Quantum science explains how atoms and energy behave at the tiniest scales. Electron sharing, or covalent bonds, like in oxygen and nitrogen molecules, form when atoms share electrons. Quantum rules dictate how electrons occupy specific energy levels or orbitals, enabling stable bonds. For example, the double bond in oxygen involves electrons existing in quantum superpositions, simultaneously in multiple states. Molecules like ozone rely on quantum resonance structures, where electrons delocalize across atoms, stabilizing the molecule, which is critical for Earth's ozone layer blocking UV radiation. Sunlight, or photons of varying frequencies, interacts with air molecules. High-frequency blue light scatters more, a quantum effect dependent on photon wavelength and molecule size, giving us a blue sky. The ozone layer absorbs harmful UV photons, breaking bonds in a quantum process that protects life. The greenhouse effect occurs when CO2 and water vapor absorb infrared photons, trapping warmth via quantum vibrational modes in molecules. Quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where electrons jump through energy barriers, may explain how enzymes speed up reactions critical for life such as when oxygen enters cells and fuels the electron transport chain in mitochondria. Breathing involves oxygen you inhale binding to hemoglobin in blood, a process governed by quantum interactions between electrons in iron atoms and oxygen molecules. Combustion, like burning fuel in gas stoves, breaks hydrocarbon bonds, releasing stored chemical energy as heat and light, with energy transitions guided by quantum rules. Weather and climate are shaped by air's ability to hold heat via CO2 and scatter light, rooted in quantum-level photon-molecule interactions. Quantum physics reveals that atoms in air, your body, and stars are made of the same subatomic particles, mirroring spiritual ideas of universal oneness. Breathing connects you to Earth's atmosphere, a cycle of energy exchange where plants emit oxygen through photosynthesis and humans release CO2, sustained by quantum processes. navigation report where you can receive a personalized quantum human design assessment to gain insight into your unique energetic blueprint as it relates to your career and business skills thank you for watching